got a bloof off. Bloof. I got a blow off. My roof. I don't know about that side. That side's a little sketchy. Anyway. Yeah. That's what I'm doing today. Not too shabby, yeah. Didn't get close to there because I don't have anybody to help me. I want All right, on to the next. So, I've been having issues with this truck. It's a 1989 F250 inline six, four speed. Turns on when it wants to, drives when it wants to, and drives fine when it's running fine. And then it just shuts off. Put the battery, but that battery's dead, so. I gotta do the old, the old switcheroo. Okay, so I gotta jump start this truck. Let's see if, let's see if it gives it power. Did that give it enough power? Yeah, it gave it enough power. Let's just wait a little bit. Okay, I've been waiting for like 10 minutes. Let's hope this freaking truck turns on. Please turn on. Pushing the clutch. Son of a nutcracker. How much switch the batteries? <gasps> okay, let's see. I swap the batteries. Oh, come on, please turn on. Neutral. I got battery. Let's see. What the? Okay, so I was sitting here for the longest time and all I did was check the cables. I was going to take the battery back and call it quits for today, but I readjusted the terminals. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It turns on. So I don't think I fixed the issue but I got the truck running it runs super nice it runs smooth all right well I got stuck I don't know how this was just spinning I got it running but I gotta take it in because it runs fine and then it doesn't I almost tipped my truck over that is honestly pretty scary. I'm gonna have to wait for somebody. It pulled it pretty good though. It pulled it up really good actually. Um, but yeah, how about let's, well, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. I need someone's help. <laughs> oh, truck. Oh, well, we came, my, my dad came to help me with the truck because I can't, there's no way I can do it. Well, there's no way I can do it by myself. I don't want to tilt the truck over. It looks way worse in person than on camera. It doesn't look too dramatic on camera, but. So I'm, I'm using the, I'm gonna use the tractor to hold it down so it doesn't tilt. He's gonna use his truck to help me hold it.
we got the truck out. You guys can see the only thing that happened was when he lifted the truck, it came down on the bucket and it bent my door. And this truck was literally body was perfectly straight, but it's all right. It adds character, right? Okay, okay leaf blowing again. I gotta take care of this spot right here. And I gotta chop some of those branches down because it's gonna be a little barbecue place. A little barbecue hangout spot, so I gotta fix this up. Move this, I'm gonna move this car, I'm gonna move that truck and put them somewhere where it's not in the way. So I gotta clean all this off, all the pines and everything. And I'm gonna clear all these sticker bushes, all this crap. So this is what it looks like after. You can walk up here without getting hit by a branch. So, <gasps> it's freaking to <clears throat> do a little side job. Came to replace this alternator from this 2007 Toyota Camry. Yeah, it was a lot harder than it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get that. I'll change it in 30 minutes. Bam, bam, bam. Get paid. Freaking easy money. Oh, I got to take the fan off. I got to take the heat chill off or disconnect hoses, this and that. Maybe there's another way around, around it, but it was a lot easier just to make space and get the job done. So that's what I'm doing. I came to work on the car because... Uh, one of my one of my uh, mother-in-law's friend needed her alternator change So she told me if I wanted to do it. I was like sure why not? It's an alternator You know How hard is it to change an alter? I've done it before I was planning for 30 minutes, but I started at what I started at at 9 <laughs> It's 1 in the afternoon So I got it done. I went to go turn the car on to test it for her and it wasn't turning on Turns out it's a freaking it's this fuse. But no, I called all the auto parts auto parts stores here. None of them carry it. So now I gotta go to the Toyota dealership and get another one. This dealership is huge. Oh man. I want one of these. This is what I want. Dang. 15 miles. Smells like new car. One day. We're one of the biggest garages I've. Wow, this thing goes all the way over there. It's pretty cool. Got it. There it goes. Okay, well, job well done. Ish. Oh, yeah. Es más. El que, el que gane. Mundo. El Apache. La Sandía. La Ra. La Escalera. La Escalera. Oh. El, el, di el Diablito. La Botella. La Maceta. El Cantarito, El Catrín, El Bandilón, Bandolón, El Bandolón, El El Bandolón, El Bandolón, El Bandolón, El El borracho nunca salió. Sí. No, no, no. Pensé que iba a ganar. Por... Sí, en el alacrán y el venado okay, me sobraron. Okay, okay. Mira. 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 She's like, wow. No way. Mira. 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 Hi, Myra.
Nobody realized? Really? What? Yeah, you came from here Yeah, she realized. I'm going back and forth to the bathroom and upstairs and nobody realized. I, I, no, I know this. So I was like, what the heck? Michelle's, yeah. Michelle's cousins. They got two new quads. Oh. Hold your wings and learn to fly. Oh, you're mine. You were only waiting for the moment. Do the other one. Well, tonight will be the night that I fall for you. <laughs> Listo.